Gastrulation is the process by which the three different germ layers are formed within that developing human embryo. And as soon as the germ layers are formed, they can begin producing the different types of structures, organs, and systems found within that human adult organism. Now the first type of system that is produced during embryological development is the nervous system and the process by which the ectoderm germ layer forms the nervous system is known as neurulation and this will be the focus of this lecture. Now neurulation takes place as soon as gastrulation takes place. So let's begin by supposing we have a cross section of the gastrula stage of embryological development which is shown in the following diagram. So we take a cross section and we see the following different types of cells. The purple cells are the cells that make up the trophoblast and the trophoblast eventually forms the chorion as well as the placenta. Now these are the three different germ layers. We have the green cells that make up the endoderm, we have these red cells that make up the mesoderm, and we have these blue cells that make up our ectoderm. Now the endoderm is the germ layer that eventually forms the uh, epithelial layer of our digestive tract as well as the lungs, our liver, and our pancreas and other structures such as the thyroid and parathyroid glands and the thymus. The mesoderm forms the muscular and the skeletal system as well as the cardiovascular system, the excretory system, and the reproductive system, while the ectoderm is what forms the skin as well as the nervous system. Now, before these blue cells can actually organize themselves and arrange themselves and differentiate into the cells that ultimately make up the central and the peripheral nervous system of our body, what must happen is a structure known as the notochord must actually form. And the notochord is formed from the cells found in the mesoderm germ layer. So the mesodermal cells basically form a structure known as the notochord and a notochord is a cylindrical collection, it's a cylindrical rod of cells that runs all the way along the entire length of that developing embryo. So in this diagram, we form the notochord from these red mesodermal cells. So if we zoom in on the following diagram, we get the following picture. And this structure here is the notochord. It goes into the board and it comes out of the board and it runs along the entire length of that developing organism. Because remember, this is only a cross section of that entire developing organism. That's why the notochord looks like a circle. Now, what exactly is the point of the notochord? Well, the cells found in the notochord are responsible for stimulating and inducing the thickening of the ectoderm region, this section here, to produce a structure known as the neural plate. And it's the ectodermal cells of the neural plate that eventually give rise to the central and the peripheral nervous system. So what the notochord does is it stimulates the out outward motion, the outward movement, the invagination of the neural plate of this section here towards the notochord and what we begin to produce is something called the neural groove and these two folds we call the neural fold. So these are the two neural for, uh, folds and this is the neural groove that is produced as a result of that outward motion of this central portion of the neural plate. Now, the continual outward motion of that neural plate eventually brings these two neural folds together. So this should be neural, neural um, folds. So it brings the two neural folds together and what it folds, when these two touch, they basically form this cylindrical structure known as the neural tube. And we also have these two tiny extensions known as the neural crests.
Now, the neural tube eventually forms the brain and the spinal cord. So it's the neural tube that eventually forms the central nervous system. On the other hand, it's these two neural crests that give rise to the peripheral nervous system. So, so they give rise to the ganglia that is found outside the brain and the spinal cord. And this process by which we form the neural tube and the neural crest, and eventually they give rise to the central nervous system and the peripheral nervous system this process is known as neuralation and it takes place as soon as we form the ectoderm layer during the process of gastrulation.